Okay, so we have an std vector which will store uh, pointers to particles, so particle pointers, and call it particles. Okay, simple enough. And the particle engine has an x and a y coordinate where the particle engine where the particle engine is. So not the particle where the particle engine is. So it will be just an integer. We don't want too big precision uh, right here. Oh. I just realized we need more header files because we need r that random number so we include the cstdlib and uh, we include the c time although I observed that in case of Linux the only the cstdlib will contain the time as well because it doesn't com uh, so doesn't complain about the time zero so when we seeding the random number generator uh, but in case of windows i tried last day and i find out that uh, it needs the c time as well not uh, not enough just the cstd lib okay i just wanted to say that a little bit uh, of an update or i don't know what is this maybe i put a uh, video annotation where I did uh, that way I showed you so and we need a max particle max particle will contain how many particle this particle engine should have okay and we need the public function the public function will be the the constructor so the particle engine it has a max part so the max par uh, maximum particle number okay and it has an and int x and an int y so an and x and the y coordinate i wanted to say that okay it has a destructor so particle engine uh, it has a destructor because the, we will uh, reserve the memory dynamically for this particle array and we need to delete it the end okay and it has just one function we will call explicitly this is the refresh function the refresh function will basically just move and show all of the particle that's all and uh, mm, let's start to make those okay so we need the cons we need to define the constructor so particle particle engine and uh, colon colon particle engine oh long names and just copy and paste it to make everything quicker okay so x equal to capital x y equals to capital y and uh, and then 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 the max particle equal to max part okay and uh, and i just uh, fill the particle vector with the correct number of particles so for int i equals zero i left the max, max particle i plus plus and uh, particles that push push uh, back so i just push a new uh, particle to the end of this vector obviously okay so new particle and that's a little tricky part because we need a lot of uh, uh, random number generator so i can write x but i don't want it to be perfectly in the x location i want that the particle appear somewhere near to the x position so f a few pixels left or right or up or downer is a load so x plus rand and I just uh, g generate a random number for it uh, with 6 uh, so 6 and I use minus 3 so it's basically mean that I get generate number 0 through 5 and I uh, subtract 3 from it so it will generate a number between minus uh, minus 3 and plus 2 I guess or something like that okay uh, now generate the y coordinate so y plus and then uh, generate a random number similarly minus three okay and the uh, x velocity will be similarly a random number 
uh, I want to show you first the when we use whole numbers and then change it to a float numbers to uh, see the difference between the two. So I just generate the number in here. Okay, and so rand and I use 10. Okay, and I mm, uh, subtract 5 from it so it will generate uh, approximately minus 5 and plus 5 the x velocity I do the same thing with the y velocity so actually exactly the same thing okay and uh, finally we have the lifetime if I remember well that's the that is 500 because at least uh, so it will mean uh, a minimum uh, half second the lifetime but we add the uh, random I don't know make it uh, a thousand so um, a uh, minimum uh, 500 the lifetime maximum 1500 is the lifetime and obviously anything between these two numbers and the last thing is the color I just use the white color so SDL map RGB screen oh we can't use screen in here so SDL get video surface so we get the surface format and I just use the white color okay and uh, that's it uh, it's a long line so we just feel all of the particles and uh, and then yeah that's about the um, constructor we need the, the destructor now so particle engine and the particle uh, particle engine so this is the destructor and uh, the destructor will just basically go through all of the elements so int i equals zero i left them uh, what was it max particle i plus plus and um, delete it so delete particles i okay that's about it it just goes through all of the elements and delete it because we uh, reserve it dynamically the next one is the refresh the most important function and I wouldn't say most important because all of the function is important in here so particle engine colon colon refresh so it will just go through all of the elements create new if it is dead and move it is if it is not dead so I use the for loop int i equals zero i left the max particle max particle or particles what was it particle okay i plus plus and in here i just use an if statement to the to mm, examine that if is it dead or not so if particles i is dead so if the particle is dead then we just create a new one so first of all we delete particles i and we create a new in place of this particle so port particles uh, i and i just copy the same thing uh, which is here so make the particle so okay now i finally succeeded okay so i just create a new particle to the place of the particle which was here and uh, basically that's that's about it uh, so we need an else so if it is not dead then I move so particles I move so first move and then show particles I show and that's about it our particle engine is ready one more thing we have to uh, you know see the random number generator to actually gener generate random numbers so s rand time zero so we generate random numbers and create a new particle engine so particle engine I call it PF and uh, and in here in the main loop so 
in here in the main loop I just go ps dot refresh and that's about it obviously it has a few mistakes because uh, you know uh, every program has a mistake but uh, we will uh, make it uh, better okay so I am in the correct directory now so here is it so I just compile it so g plus plus second dot cpp slash lsdl and that's it okay it has a few errors as I see a mix mis mistype here pixel pixels instead of pixels in line 45 pixel the alright the next error is 49 uh, oh because it's written a boolean obviously true or false yep okay uh, the next one is 72 in here party particle engine okay that's right next one is 78 mm. Par I said that it is a too long name particle engine okay I guess it's good now the next one is mm, this line okay particles I doesn't call particles hmm oh I know what the problem that was the problem that it is it is a bad place so uh, okay uh, if I delete this because this is uh, curly bracket add additional curly bracket and compile I get at least that amount of error that I get earlier 45 okay so oh I, as I said we have to cast it to an integer so actually round it because it will not work without run just uh, add the float to it because we can't use float to go through a memory address okay uh, another mistype in 51 get video surface and 102 oh we need to define how many particles do we want 1000 uh, there do we want it make it to the center of the screen so screen width divided by 2 screen height divided by 2 if they are not whole numbers then they will be casted to an int actually they will cast it to an int anyway but uh, yeah basically they will round so it will round it okay it seems that it's compiled now we can uh, start the program okay it's get a weird effect much weirder oh I know what the problem is we forget to delete the screen uh, that's why we get this very weird star effect like thing so we have to clear the screen every time we go here so I just feel a black rectangle to delete it so SDL feel rect I use screen because we want it to the screen uh, and then uh, the next thing is the rectangle so screen clip rect and actually we need the address of the clip rect because this the clip rect is not the address and the last thing is the color so SDL map RGB uh, screen format and 0x0 0 x 0 0 x 0 0 0 and 0 x 0 0 so black color basically probably if you would write just a zero in here that would do as well so now if I start the program okay it gets a quite good effect I think I use a thousand particle and uh, yeah we generate uh, randomly okay but as you can see it is not like a completely random number because as you can see for example here never will get one particle 